This is Ernest Sparkman speaking to you, and I'm speaking in low tones. We faded Charlie's voice down, and we're planning on playing a trick on Charlie. He doesn't know that I'm on the air. He thinks he's still on the air at this time. But with the snakes that they have here in the studios, we have taken a large rubber snake that's about three or four feet long, and we've planted it in the ceiling. And in the next few moments, we're going to, by a mechanism that we have a fish uh, line attached to the snake, and over to our remote point, we're going to pull it loose, and it'll fall out of the ceiling right down on the desk where Charlie's talking, right in front of him. So please stand by. He doesn't hear me talking. He doesn't know what's happening. He is unaware of any of this, but we're going to drop right down in front of him here in just a moment. Now, in the next few seconds, this large rubber snake will fall right down on the desk in front of Charlie Wilson and his guests. Let's see what happens. My guest is Dale Sasser, and he's a naturalist. He gives lectures on snakes and presentations uh, down at uh, Natural Bridge State Park and to different civic uh, organizations and school organizations. He has five snakes in the studio with us right now. Four, three, six, two, one, two, one. Let's go back to the board. Come in, you're on the air. Uh, Charlie? Yes, ma'am. Oh, uh, this is up from up Corn Hill here, Knobloch, mm -hmm. above Hazard. Yes. Uh, I'd like to talk to the man about for the black snakes that mix with the poison snakes. Is that so? Uh, go, go ahead, Dale. Uh, that's, well, we've had a little problem here in the studio. <laughs> <laughs> what about the snake problem? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Has, has, really, they say don't kill a black snake? You know, I'm going to have to stop doing this show, people. I, I tell you, there was, <laughs> there was a, there was a thing fell out of the ceiling, and you know, I thought it was, I tell you what, I tell you what we just experienced right then. I had a, the closest call to a heart attack. To a heart attack, huh? Well, what you it was, me. my guest and I, we thought first that it was something fell from the ceiling, but I looked down at my foot and there's a big black rubber snake here. So uh, we need to play about seven commercials to get me straightened out here. No, I'm interested. I cannot, but who did that? Bob Hale did that, didn't he? I, that, that this is this is to it was Ernest did that. <laughs> I am telling you, I was doing pretty good with this show here. He's got this python over here in his lap, and I'm not within striking distance out of it. Oh, did that scare you? <laughs> we have several people in the studio, and Charlie, get that thing up. Let's see the blue there. Oh, that thing is. Oh, are you going to answer my question? Yeah. Yes, I'll answer. Just a minute. We let Charlie get back I'll together. Tell you what, that thing. I, I was prepared for this, but not at this time. A big rubber snake. The sh we've lost the show. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Down. down the tubes. Oh, I you tell want me you. to go ahead and answer a question? You go ahead and talk as long as you want to. <laughs> okay. Uh, there's always a lot of questions about that sort of thing, and uh, one of the reasons what, that I... What are we talking about? Uh, there's a... <laughs> there's a...